The DJI Pocket 3 is easily one of the best compact cameras on the market today, and it just received six new features via a firmware update. In this video, I'll show you how to update the DJI Pocket 3 firmware, and I'll also go over the six new features that came with that firmware update. First off, it's important to note that there's a firmware update not just for the Pocket 3 camera, but also for the battery handle and the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Now these two accessories can be purchased separately or they come as part of the DJI Pocket 3 creator combo. And in my opinion, both of these are must-have Pocket 3 accessories. Now you wanna update the firmware of all three products. So first of all, make sure that the battery handle is attached to the Pocket 3 before you even begin the firmware update and then power on the camera and connect it to the DJI MIMO phone app on your phone. Make sure that you have the latest version of the DJI MIMO app before you get started. Now, once the Pocket 3 is connected to the app, it will automatically detect the new firmware and start to download it. This can take a couple of minutes, but when it's done, both the firmware of the Pocket 3 and the connected battery handle will be updated. Now, to update the firmware on the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, you'll have to connect it to a computer via USB-C. Go to the DJI website, link in the description below, and download the package bin file and place it in the root directory for the transmitter. Then eject the transmitter from your computer and it will automatically install the firmware update. Okay, now let's talk about the six new firmware update features on the Pocket 3. So first of all, we now have D-Log-M 10-bit and HLG 10-bit color options when shooting in 120 frames per second slow motion. Previously, we only had normal color as an option, but HLG gives us HDR-like color, and D-Log is a flat color profile that gives you more dynamic range when you're editing. So if you tend to color grade your footage, this is really great news, especially since the Pocket 3 can shoot in up to 4K 120 frames per second slow motion. Now just note that D-Log M and HLG are not available when shooting in 240 frames per second or super slow motion mode. The second new feature is the addition of a built-in microphone audio backup function in the settings menu. This was a highly requested feature among those of us who use the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, because if you don't have this feature, the Mic 2 transmitter will always override the audio track in the built-in internal microphone of the Pocket 3. But if you enable this new feature, the camera will now record audio via the built-in internal microphone and save it as a separate WAV format audio file and you can still get the audio of the Mic 2 transmitter as well. All right, this is a sound test using that new backup audio function. So right now I'm recording audio via the uh, transmitter, but back and I'm speaking directly to the camera. This is what it sounds like using the built-in audio on the DJI Pocket 3. The only downside is that this function is not available when you're shooting in low light mode or in slow motion. Now there are lots of ways to apply this in real life, but say you have someone standing by the Pocket 3 and you want to pick up their audio from the camera, plus the audio of someone who has the DJI Mic 2 transmitter who might be standing far away from the camera. With this new feature, you can get the audio recorded from both subjects. Now I did another video that's in depth going over seven different microphone and sound settings for the DJI Pocket 3. So check out that video for more ideas. Feature number three is also related to the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, and that is an auto power off function. So when the transmitter is not connected to a device and it's not doing built-in internal recording, it will automatically power off after 15 minutes. Now, I think this is a great feature because I often forget to turn off my transmitter when I'm not using it, and I waste battery life this way. So this new feature should be a really big help. Now, as a side note, this firmware update also optimizes the DJI Mic 2 performance and connection stability. There's no notes on exactly what this means, and I personally haven't had any stability or performance problems with my Mic 2 transmitter, so hopefully that continues in the future. Feature number four is for webcam mode, because if you connect the Pocket 3 to a computer via USB-C, you can use the Pocket 3 as a webcam. And after the firmware update, you can now record in 1080p 50 or 60 frames per second, not just 25 or 30 frames per second. Feature number five is support for selfie flip in time-lapse shooting mode. Now, I have to admit, I've only done a few selfie time-lapses, and it was done with the Insta360 X3. But now that it's an option for the Pocket 3, I might start to do more of them. You can actually get pretty creative with selfie time-lapses. 
The final new feature that was added via firmware are 2351 reference lines in the guide section of the settings. Now this is only available when shooting in 69 aspect ratio and the guidelines are pretty subtle on the top and the bottom of the frame and they don't show up in your final video. But these reference lines are like those black letter boxes that you see when shooting with an anamorphic lens. And some folks may want to shoot and export their final videos in that format. So these reference lines would help you compose those kinds of shots. So those are six new features that just came to the DJI Pocket 3 via a firmware update, as well as instructions on how to update the firmware of the camera and some of its key accessories. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more Pocket 3 videos, I have quite a few of them, including a settings guide and tips and tricks. And I'm also working on my video about some of the problems or uh, pitfalls of using the Pocket 3, because as much as I love it, it's not quite perfect. So stay tuned if you want to see that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.